right, governor gained a level, nice. I guess our governor is actually really important here because we are only ever going to have one governor at a time, I think. Equipment malfunction, yeah. Slowing down our, uh, our excavation. Sucks, but what are you going to do? Okay, do we have any laws we want to change right now? Any of our policies? Um... Really? Yeah, refugees welcome. Yeah, I really want immigration because we want every race we can get. We want as much population as we can get, like as much population as we can get because we're against very big empires here. And so anything we can do to keep our economy large is important. Defense pact he would accept, but I don't actually want that. I'd rather just not aggression with everybody if possible. These guys still like me the most and they're still not willing to... Federate, yeah, mostly because of distance. Okay, these two are the closest to me, but they're both militarists and they don't like how peaceful I am. Or else I'd probably be able to befriend them easier. Who do we not have a commercial pact with? If we just do players. We have a commercial pact with every other player. But we don't have something on every home world, do we? Who would we be missing? Was it these guys? Which one's their home world? They've got so much stuff here, it's hard to... My eyes are blurring. This planet. No, we have one there. Right, the one we don't have are these guys because they're a corporation, and so we're just not allowed. Right? Yep. Damn. It's a shame. What are you gonna do? Everyone follow Gooseth there on Twitch, by the way. Both on his YouTube, because he does Pokemon challenges and follow challenges and all kinds of stuff. But also, it wouldn't surprise me at all if he just starts streaming on that account at some point. Don't need food. Mercenary upkeep is naval capacity, which is nice. And I don't have many opportunities to get that, but we don't really need it. Private military in industries would get me alloy, and we need a ton of alloy at some point, but this is very little alloy. Private mining, mining consortium, uh, research is actually really nice. I wouldn't mind saving up for that. I do always need more consumer goods. Public relations firm is Unity, and I love Unity. Observ uh, obs observation post. Okay, I don't care about that because that's outside of my territory. Uh, amusement megaplex. Oh, another migration treaty. Don't mind if I do. It's now voting on a new resolution to decide if it will become galactic law. Okay. Uh, yes, I will accept any migration treaty I can get. Senate is in session. Buzzword standardization. I am definitely still a supporter of that. Yes. Okay. Uh, you don't have him linked on YouTube side channel thing yet. Oh, I forgot I haven't updated that yet, have I? I think I probably have one of his old channels there. Uh, Brandon, do me a favor. DM me right now on discord and say hey uh reminder to add me to your channel section on your youtube page just send me that now and i'll check that later and i'll remember build a commercial form in your branch office they make the branch office generate more trade value yeah that's what i've been building in some of them my first one has that oh no it doesn't as a public relations form you know what i had misremembered yeah commercial form is office value and merchant jobs and that is going to pay off very quickly uh so i i i like that idea let's have that be our next one we build here and then we might start expanding it to more planets we still have a little bit of empire sprawl headroom but i i do think we're gonna have to start um we're gonna have to start getting our our empire sprawl cap up through bureaucracy because uh it's becoming an issue nice just got a thousand bucks breaking into a vault. That's awesome. Sure. Oh, you. I think you misunderstood what I was saying. Uh, DM me on Discord. The link. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can just link your channel. Sure, that's fine. Oh, someone else was asking. Never mind. You didn't misunderstand. Never mind. Someone else was asking. Yeah, you can link that. I don't care. Fuck it. Like. Uh, oh, Migration Treaty, nice. Fuck it, everybody who's here right now, everybody watching right now, all of you, you have permission to link your channels, your Twitch or your YouTube or whatever. Just link it right now and tell me what you do. Um, I can't promise I'll have time to check it out, but maybe other people in the chat will check it out, you know? 
Here you go. You all have you all have my parmesan. Do it right now. I dare you. All right, commercial form. Get it going. Beautiful. All right, we've got that building. How do you increase Empire Sprawl? Like, the limit? Uh, one of the ways is any kind of bureaucratic, uh, bureaucratic building. Like, uh, if you're a company, I think you can just build them. But there is a... I'm trying to remember the name of it. Let me double check. If I go government reform, there's a civic. That's what it is. There's a civic called... Uh, where is it? Where is it? It is not available to me because I'm a company, so I automatically have it. But I believe it's if you are a republic, oligarchy, or democracy, I think. It's called uh, Byzantine Bureaucracy, if I remember right. And at least what it used to do was it unlocked the ability to get bureaucratic buildings, which will spend consumer goods on increasing your empire sprawl cap, which is really nice, especially when you have massive penalties for empire sprawl like you do when you're a company. Uh, however... It might work different if you don't have Federation. I'm not sure. I uh, hope the situation improves. Yeah, I just I just want more opinion with them. They're apologizing for not having the thing done yet. I can get my money back, but it'll piss them off a little. I, I'm fine with keeping it. I want good relations with the artisan troop. They're really good. Research Organize a festival us. across the world. What's that do again? Pop growth speed. Yep. Take it. That's a deal right there. Pop growth speed. Awesome. Okay, we have another tech here. Uh, energy credit from technicians is going to pay off fast, so we'll do that. Not that money's a huge problem, but you guys know that we spend a lot. Can I do another curator thing? I don't think it tells me when I run out, you know? Okay, no, we, we are still working on that. Good. Just making sure that we always have, like, a trade pact with the curators, because it increases our trade, our research speed globally by 10%, which is really good. Planet build speed, I guess, isn't awful but it's not really that good either i just want a fast thing honestly um we'll go armor for ships it's the fastest of these and we're gonna switch this do we want to switch the scientist on that yeah let's mid max just a little we're gonna switch the scientist on that to be this one right yeah he might not be as good but It frees up this guy, who's already leveled up to to take over the um, take over the excavation, and they aren't good at anything. They don't they have an ability for anything I was doing anyway, so they may as well just work on the expedition. Okay, we're at our starbase cap right now. Yeah, if that ends up going up, then we will get a starbase there. And I really want our off-world trading companies. How close are we on that tech? We're getting close. We're getting close. We're getting there. Potential market survey completed. Fan fiction writer for a series. Oh yeah, people are liking linking their stuff. That's awesome. Sorry, I was looking at the chat for a second because I was checking my economy stuff. I love that you guys are actually linking stuff. That's fun. There we go. Got some minor artifacts there. That's cool. Okay. And uh, I'm still digging the idea of the first thing on each planet here being a commercial zone to get the trade value going. Because you guys know, like, the, the unity bonus and the money bonuses we get from that are so big. And it's getting us clerk jobs, too, for the more educated people. And you want those kinds of jobs so that when people immigrate, if they're higher skill workers, they can find work as well. So they're not, like, you know, moving here and then working the mines, you know, dropping down levels of society. That would suck. Okay, we're almost done this. I wonder how much of the trade value is going to go up by when we finish this. So right now the value is 8.1. I don't know why it's rounded up to 9 here, considering it should be rounded down. Wow, that, uh, that almost... No, that's slightly more than doubled our income from this planet. That's awesome. We should be doing those more often. Good to know. Good call from whoever was in the chat who reminded me of that. I want to say it was Jetstream, but I could be misremembering. Uh, sorry, which one finished here? Diplomatic Grants just finished? Okay, Diplomatic Grants is actually really important to me. Uh, yeah, that's Diplomatic Weight and Improve and Envoy Improve Relations Speed. I'm going to definitely 
drop a qu basically all of our influence on continuing that. Okay, uh, people are abstaining from that. I'm sorry, it's no opponents, though, so it's gonna pass. I would imagine, at least. Branch office building? That was me. Yes, yes, that was a good call, because that more than doubled, that slightly more than doubled our credit income from that planet. Okay, how much uh, influence do we need for our next expansion here? This is a small planet here. We could expand to this one fairly cheaply, actually. Any uh, factions we could easily befriend here? Just want to see if there's anything really easy popping up. Federated, we still need a federation. Um, these guys still like us the most, but they're not willing to do it. Yep. Are we still improving with them? I think we might not be anymore. We have very good relations with them, though. We're still actively befriending these guys. Yeah. Come on, who could I get a federation going with? No one wants to. Everyone's such a militarist. These guys are the most peaceful, but they're so far away. I'm sorry, is every country but me a militarist? Every single country but me and the hardcore spiritualist guys are militaristic. Okay. I should change my military laws. Oh, non non aggression, hell yeah. And research grant as well. Yeah. Take those. Good close relations. These guys live near me. Non aggression's really important because they're militarists and they live near me. So very important, I get that. Okay. Uh they don't want a federation. Okay, they don't actually Oh, because war philosophy uh, uh forbids wars of aggression. So I think every, pretty much everybody in the world wants me to have wars of aggression, so I'm going to allow that. War philosophy is going to be back to unrestricted warfare. Now, these guys, I think, won't like that, right? Yeah, they don't like that, but that's okay, because I probably wasn't going to get anything with them anyway, just because of the distance. These guys really like us. We're getting closer. People do like us more. Most of the countries like us more for that. Ever played Pokemon Conquest? No, but I bet I'd like it. From what I've seen, it's like games that I like. Okay. Potential market survey completed. Have you fully moved? Yes. Oh, what's this? Sorry. Off-world training company done. I don't want to forget that. Uh, what is this? A racket. I've actually never met one of these. Is this a criminal organization? Racket Industrial Enterprise. That or it's a bad name. A racket industrial enterprise. Brokers, trade makers, yeah. They're caravaneers, okay. What do they do? Caravan destroyer. Is it literally commissioning trade ships for defense? I can buy a destroyer from them? Because that's cheap. Just a one-time purchase of 200 mineral. Or are they going to, like, defend my trade routes? I, I don't exactly know how that works. <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, these guys play swans. Oh, they, these guys have, like, a caravan coalition. They're, I can gamble. That's kind of funny. I don't know what this is or this. Cur purchase caravan coins? Is that, like, poker chips? You can build administrative building your planetary slot for more Empire Sprawl. That is correct. I was talking about that earlier. Wow, Brandon's only 20 away from 1,000. That's awesome. Everybody go sub to Brandon. Goose it. Spelled usually with zeros rather than O's, I think. What is this? Untold riches. Mm, certain cargo bay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's like prize boxes. Okay, that's how that works. Is the game 100% worth full price with DLC? I personally believe it is. But, you know, that's up to you. And 
We haven't run out on this yet, have we? No? Okay, just making sure. Okay. Okay, off-world trading companies have been researched. A admin capacity of 5% is really tempting and cheap. And admin capacity is super important to us. So... Food from farmers is nice to sell. But, uh... We are taking admin capacity, adaptive bureaucracy. Because we need that up, because we, as a company... Yeah, you start with an empire sprawl limit that's a little higher. However, your 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 debuff for going your detriment your debuff for going above, it's a it's a jab at loot boxes. Um, when you go above your limit as a company, you get a way bigger detriment than with other countries. So we definitely need to keep the limit high. You know. Oh, and this. This can orbit the uh, thingy thing. That. Uh, not that. This. That way it has less upkeep. And let's get off-world trading companies going. Yes, produces two trade value for each trade hub. And I will very much want to upgrade those at some point just to have even more trade hubs. There we go. So that'll be even more money in Unity in the long run. Is there a way to tip through the mobile app? Or will I need to keep the desktop client open to send them? I think you can do it through mobile. I would imagine you'd be able to. There's just like a link right below the stream. It's on a whole new service. You don't need to worry about uh, the previous one being scumbags. It's an entirely new service, not even related to them. Caravan is a war warm welcome. A thousand bucks. Nice. Well, nothing to complain about there. In fact, if I really wanted to, I could probably um, start a campaign. Leader experience would be nice. Pop consumer good would be nice. Healthcare would be nice. Those would all be nice. And you know what? We can afford them. Let's just start getting all of them. All of them, all the time. They're too good to pass up. We should just always have them active. Just paying 3,000 credits every once in a blue moon. Very good for the economy's growth. Here we go. Research station output is actually not that big, whereas pop uh, the upkeep. Neither of these are actually that big for us. I'm going to take reducing upkeep of people working in science. That'll probably pay off a little better immediately. And then once we get our next uh, discovery, we'll finally max it out. We'll get the bonus for research speed, just 10% more research speed globally, which is awesome with all the things we stack it with. You can have a fucking mobile shipyard now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we'd get our Ascension perk, which would be awesome. Keep digging. Minor artifact found. Awesome. Funny, funny, you want to be quiet, but you all fire guns like there's no tomorrow in seven days to die. Uh, yeah, it never seems to really bite us. Although a lot of people are very concerned about us. Uh, after the last, after the way the last couple blood moons went, a lot of people are very concerned that the next Blood Moon might be enough where they actually knock the tower down that we're in and we'll die in the fall and lose a lot of loot. So uh, we, I, I'm thinking that our next play session might be spent less on... Um, might be spent less on exploring and more on super fortifying the church. We might need to even start fortifying the internal of the church, not just the bell tower, you know? Uh, I think we might have to do that because it's seriously the tower might fall next time like a couple of people are like ah oh, you're playing it too safe being in the tower no like that tower might be about to fall we need to start getting concrete and reinforcing this tower you know but give me talking about seven days to die one of the best casual you know watch it on the side tense background noise kind of series on my YouTube channel right now it's fun time but my stomach's growling. This is why I had the apple before I started, you know? Wow. Is it really dark out? I didn't even notice it got dark. I guess it is getting kind of late, isn't it? What do I look like on camera right now? It's a little dark. I should probably turn the lights up a little more, but whatever. What are you going to do? Um, I think it's pretty... Uh, I think it's time for me to end, though, because... One, stomach's growling. And two... um. I need to work on more stuff. I got to do a voiceover for a Pokemon challenge later today and everything. Uh, it's already 8 p.m. I know, right? It doesn't, it does not feel like it to me. It feels like it should be like four. I don't know. 
Get yourself a pizza. I am actually owed a free pizza because the last time I got a pizza from the local pizza place, um, they accidentally double charged us because they were their little card reader thing was glitching out. And so they accidentally double charged us. And so when we called the pizza place, they were just like, oh, uh, do you want a refund or do you want to just hang on to the money for the next time? And our response was just, oh, just hang on to the money and put the credit like on our account because we get the same pizza, you know. As like, a, we, as like a treat once a month or so, we get that same pizza. So we told them to just hang on to it. So we are owed a pizza. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll get that tonight. Um, we'll see. I've been eating pretty healthy, though. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to go do a voiceover. And then I might work on a game jam a little bit. Because there's a game jam video I want to... There's a game jam that I'm a judge on that I want to make a video on. I, didn't, I don't have to make a video on it. I just told the person I'd write a review for it. But... I decided I want to make a video on it because it sounds like a really fun time. And uh, I, I think it'd be nice to use the platform to shout out some indie games that were made in 48 hours, which is very impressive. So uh, that'll be up on the channel before you know it. Probably by Sunday, I'm going to guess. I'm going to work on that pretty hard tomorrow. Thank you everybody so much for watching and until next time, have a nice day.